a slide board, okay? Um, if you haven't had the opportunity to, lose one, to use one, you're missing out big time. You're it's losing. one of the, yeah, you're losing. Um, this is one of the best tools for core strength. Um, you can do every single movement on it. Um, lunges, planks, push-up variations, uh, you know, all types of core, core work, especially too. So you're not, it's not just made for sliding around, simulating ice skating as it originally was made for over about 10, 15 years ago. So what Sean's gonna do is um, slide board body saw or a, a low plank rollout, okay? So what he's gonna do is he's gonna get into a proper plank position. If you remember the video that we did, him and I did a while ago, you should know what a proper plank position is, okay? If you don't know, go back to the website and watch that video. So Sean's gonna get into a proper plank position, which he's squeezing his butt, which is gonna force his hips down so they're straight. That way you can activate his abs more, okay? Some of us don't get into that position because it's very hard and our body, you know, sometimes doesn't work that hard. So Sean's basically going to drive his elbows out and pull in, okay? It's, you want to think about, you want your arms relaxed, you don't want to be tense, because that's going to force you not your whole body to move. You want to isolate your arms, rolling out and pulling in, good, relax for a second. Also too, um, you want to think about inhaling on the way out, exhaling and contracting on the way in, okay? So Sean, do two more. Also look at his feet, his ankles. You want to maintain uh, dorsiflexion, which is a fancy word to say, keep your toes flexed up, okay? So, depending on your level of strength and how, how strong your core is, you might only be able to go from, from here to there, all right, before your legs stop moving. You don't want your legs to move, then you're just basically using the muscles on the front part of your, um, your tibia to flex and push forward, all right? So, some people, this is very, very challenging. I want to do it one more time for you, a couple more. Go out, and as you go out, push your butt up as you go, just to kind of relax. You notice some people will bring their butt up to take the tension out of their core because as they go out, it gets too hard. Don't focus on going too far. Focus on maintaining that flat position in your plank and go out as far as you can. As little, that's fine. I've had people do this for over a year and I've noticed the progression as they get better at it, okay? So to take a step back, the regression for this is to have the toes on the board, okay? So you have a little bit more control, you have a little more strength in the legs, you can control a little more. So Sean's essentially going to do the exact same thing. He's pushing into the ground, which in turn is going to push his legs back and pulling himself forward is going to help like, obviously pull, pull his whole body forward. And again, maintaining tight glutes, abs tight, knees locked, driving the toes into the booties, keep those toes flexed, all right? So again, you're, you're utilizing your core um, a lot in this movement. As you go out, the further you go out, the harder it is to maintain that flat position. So um, think of those cues whenever we have you do a slide board exercise and uh, have fun with it.